So starting out, uh, why do we do citations in the first place? And, and there's a couple different ways that we could potentially look at this. And so starting with copyright, uh, copyright is something where uh, all of you have copyrights. Anything that you've ever written or created, you get to have the copyright to that. You don't need to register that copyright. Uh, you just get that as a, a matter of course. And it's basically legal protection uh, that comes from the laws of the United States that helps to pr protect works of authorship. So kind of with that foundation in place, uh, there is that legal aspect of it. But uh, the other thing is when we're talking about things like scholarship and doing papers and, uh, and, and creating new ideas, uh, we have to have something called fair use that allows you to utilize the work of others. It's really important because when it comes to citations, you're really trying to connect your ideas to the discourse around the issues that are going on. And citing other people's sources is uh, one of the best ways to do that. It's one of the best ways to demonstrate that you've done the research, that you know what you're talking about, and the, uh, and you can kind of engage with the ideas that are coming forward. So fair use is an exemption in the copyright law that states that you can make use of other people's work without asking the copyright owner's permission. And that is uh, um, helpful in many different ways under the criteria the list listed here. It could be criticism, which scholarship certainly would fall into that, commentary, news reporting, teaching or education, that's certainly what we are up to here at Western, parody, and of course scholarship or research. So um, those are some pretty clear exemptions that allow you to use the works, but there's certain limits on that as well. You can't for example, copy an entire work, um, that, that would be something that would be going a little bit too far. But utilizing their ideas, quoting from it, that's going to be uh, something that's well within your rights. Now, uh, there's all these different reasons to cite, and we've talked about these just briefly a moment ago. Uh, letting your reader know what the original source of your information is, that's a really helpful one, and that's part of the reason why there are uh, these very particular rules for how citations are done because it helps to eliminate confusion between different types of information that might be out there. And so you're being really clear to your reader where are those ideas and where are those quotes and where the, the other pieces of information are actually coming from. But uh, if you're doing that well, it's going to also let your reader identify and retrieve the sources that you've used for their own use. This allows them to uh, validate uh, your approach to it in terms of uh, if they wanted to disagree with something that you were saying, they could take a look at it and kind of get their own take uh, in order to um, either agree with you or or have their own uh, approach to it. And then um, also this part's really important because it's kind of it's less about the legal side of things with copyright and it's more about the ethical side of things, which is really important in academia and in scholarship. It's giving credit to the person whose ideas you've quoted, summarized, or paraphrased. So you don't want to represent somebody else's ideas as your own. Uh, you want to make sure that you are giving credit where credit is due. 